Hey ya! Uh, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Skull video. Inside today's video, we have more news and stuff like that, of course. But before we get started, I would love if you decided to use my code inside of Recro. It's basically like my supporter creator code, and it gives me free money whenever you guys decide to buy things inside of Rec Room whilst using it. But of course, enough of the self-plug, and let's get started into our news. Over here on the board, you guys will find new featured rooms, by the way. And I even have some news about featured rooms as well. You guys will also notice that inside your play menu if you guys go to the carousels the featured week carousel is higher up on the actual menu now so if you guys are interested in featuring your room inside the featured this week carousel well you of course can check it out inside the link in the description and since we're talking about featured rooms why not talk about featured creator as well if you wanted to be like a boy now 444 go here well there's also a link down below telling you how you can apply to become a featured creator check it out if you guys are interested and of course you probably won't regret it you guys might notice that inside the rec center these boards are all retcon but the reason why they are retcon is because these events that are inside the rec center are usually broadcast events where players can be seen in multiple instances it's been revealed to me that broadcasting inside of rec room is currently off so those events aren't live right now and rec room just decided to kind of replace those events uh with retcon events for right now i haven't made a video in a few days but whilst i haven't this item has came out and we're gonna get another item coming to the shop pretty soon now i have more news what do you guys go to your ui you guys will actually see that there's a new template so we go to create we go to create new room you guys will see that we now have this my little monsters template which is a rooms 2.0 room i of course have made a copy of this room myself and as you guys can see you use this template to move rotate scale or clone assets used in my little monsters and they even label them with vfx utility decorations and environment and it's just a bunch of props from the actual my little monsters game as you guys can see Please help me, I am drowning. And of course, inside today's video, what happens if I told you that Rec Room released a new update? Titled the My Little Template Edition, Rec Room had this to say. They start off by saying Cross Room Party Voice Chat. Cross Room Party Voice Chat is now available. Communicate with your friends in different rooms and keep in touch no matter what you're up to, all within Rec Room. Now this is a new feature that came out inside the update, but when the update had came out, the feature didn't come out. The feature was just not inside the game yet, Rec Room developers had clarified this and stuff like this but they did confirm that it would actually be the next day or tomorrow which is today that we would get the feature so yes today we should be getting cross room voice chat for everyone inside a rec room now if you guys are a little confused about cross room party voice chat and wondering what exactly this feature is well it's quite literally in the name you can talk to people inside your party through a voice chat through any single room that you guys are in so let's say you're inside a party with someone that's inside a quest and you're inside like a community map or some other game that's not a quest well you're actually able to talk to that person whilst not being inside these same two rooms so if you ever see Reckon players running around talking to themselves they're probably inside in a cross room voice chat it's pretty cool and it's also been confirmed that switch users can even use this cool little feature too not only does it have all these cool features and stuff like that but you're able to tell when someone is speaking and stuff like that because of the ui it has I have a little clip of me and Rainix messing around with it, and of course, I'll roll that right now. Hello? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god! Rainix! I see your little icon! <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, whenever you speak, I also see the, the, the Dude, icon. Dude, that's awesome. Rainix, I Damn. love you. Damn! <laughs> we can Wait, call what happens if I mute myself in-game? Does it? Yeah, I think it might mute. Yeah, I don't hear you. I don't hear you right now. I guess oh, it, okay, just, okay, okay. it just mutes the voice chat thing. Cool. <laughs> we can call we can call our pookies from anywhere in the roomyverse. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Should we take our feet picture now? Alright, I am so sorry to interrupt your video experience, but of course I have a plea deal with some of my memberships. It's a subscription where you guys give me some money every month and I give you guys some perks inside my videos. Not only do you guys get a number of perks, but you guys get shouted out in literally every single video I make. And I make a lot of goddamn videos. So of course, massive shout out to all of these people who include Altroll2, Mufi, Abby, Young Creator, Chazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf YT, Dead Channel, PFG on VR, Hot Classy, Dino Pied, Not the Pup, Espos Mania, Carl is Gone, Cocky Boy, Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Fetty RR, Dozer Blade, Cats, BBB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Oats, Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. If you are Squid Lean, I appreciate you. And of course, let's get back inside this video. And yeah, as you guys can see, all you have to do is basically go into party chat via the party that you had just joined, and then start a little voice chat. Once you start a voice chat, you're able to see it on your UI and stuff like that, and it's, it's pretty cool. 
Anyways, continuing onwards with their updates, Requiem has this to say. They talk about Rooms 2.0 and how the eyedropper tool is now available. They have custom locomotion, request steering chip now supports instant acceleration or zero acceleration duration, zero to 60, more like zero to the digital future, am I right? <laughs> Players can now rename containers from the Maker Pen Hierarchy window, fix the reset bug for Reset Room and Requiem Object Reset Chips, reparenting multiple objects at once will now maintain any circuit connections between their object boards, fix an issue where clicking the edit button would edit out circuit boards. For full body avatars, there were some discrepancies with the floating bean and how full body items looked, especially for glasses items. We wrote some automation to seek out those offenders and discovered mismatches in how the shaders were authored between our floating bean and full body items, so now they're fixed. And lastly, they fixed a bug where the head scale wasn't displacing correctly on full body avatars when changing rooms. For general improvements and bug fixes, they fixed a bug where the holotar scale did not match the player's avatar size when the scale was 1, text may be a little sharper on some platforms but shouldn't be too noticeable, hands will no longer sync if you are typing into sensitive text field in VR which is passwords, personal info, private messaging, etc. It doesn't apply for insensitive text fields though, and they wouldn't really care anyways. And lastly, restore the avatar snapshot as your default profile photo for new players. Next, on to Requiem Studio, they said new projects created using Requiem Studio launchers will now include default assets from My Little Monsters. We have a new kit-based template room available for the create menu in-game, so even if you can't use Requiem Studio, you can still find all the assets and use them. They even have a little gif showing off all the assets inside of Requiem Studio and stuff like that and how they placed them. You'll love to see it. They added the new instance recolor component which allows you to have different per instance colors without using multiple materials to do so. Instance recolor can also be used with studio functions to dynamic change the color of objects from circuits. A new validation error will appear when the audio mixer registry specifies an invalid studio mixer object. They fixed an issue where textures used by terrain, raw image, or particle system components appeared at a lower resolution. And lastly, prevented an issue with cameras in VR by ensuring that the camera doesn't have a target eye set to both. Now they had some experiments and stuff like that, and only two to be exact. First off, some new players may start out in third person with the option to toggle to first person of course. And second off, some players may have access to the new pinch feature, which can actually change the camera perspective and zoom on touch. And that was pretty much our entire Requiem update. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts down inside the comments below. Some players had some feedback for this newest update talking about how the patch notes could have been written better. Like for example, with the new feature, how it didn't come out, but they still, you know, made it seem like it came out, they could have been like, you should expect this feature within a few days. When asked if the new voice feature would become a split test, Jay had confirmed that it's not going to, and it should be just something that they switch on later this week. And of course, for everyone's favorite community map, Murder V3. That's right, in today's video, Murder V3 has a new patch, and of course, we're gonna read it out for you guys. So inside this new patch for Murder V3, which happened on July 27th, 2024, they had some general changes, saying, replace the placeholder roll icons in the rule booster section of the store inventory with the correct icons for each roll. They had some bug fixes where they fixed an issue where purchase items wouldn't show up right away in your inventory and required to rejoin, an issue where the bell kill SFX did not work, an issue causing the cardboard skin SFX to play the wrong one, and lastly, a bug where the time traveler and YouTube partner skins would not show up in your inventory, even if unlocked. They also had some experiments as well, saying that we're now releasing new shop items weekly at a lower place price than before, we're experimenting with different ways to show shop items you can now browse and purchase items with this room, to room store page on your watch. And lastly, clue bundles are currently at a reduced price for more clues than before. This may be permanent or not, but we're still figuring that out. And that was our new Murder V3 patch. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on this recent patch with the Murder V3 update and if you guys actually like the Murder V3 community map. And I believe at the moment, it seems like that's all the news that we have for today. I really just want to say thank you so much for watching all the way to this point in the video. To prove that you've made it all the way to this point in the video though, you should comment banana or something like that so I know that you did. Anyways, folks, that's pretty much been this entire video. If you guys want more Rec Room news, I make more Rec Room videos, of course, and you guys can check them out right there. As always, I'll be back with some more Rec Room news inside another video, but of course, I'll catch you guys inside the next one.